ruled the 1885 to 1909. A part of Africa was placed under the control of an individual European citizen. And this was precisely King Leopold of Belgium. And the territory in question was the Congo Free State Territory. The Congo Free State, also known as the Independent State of the Congo, was referred and seen as a private possession owned by King Leopold II of Belgium. The possession period of this area by King Leopold was from about 1885 to 1909. The Congo Free State now comprises a good territory of what is known today as the Congo Democratic Republic. The claim over the region by King Leopold II of Belgium can be traced to around 1880s, to around the 1880s. King Leopold developed interest in the region and this was encouraged by the exploration led by Henry Morton Stanley. Henry Morton Stanley's exploration was from around 1874 to 1877. In November 1877, Leopold II formed the Committee for Study of the Upper Congo with the intention of opening the African interior to, Europe, to European trade traders along the Congo River. Between 1879 and 1882, Henry Morton Stanley, who was working for Leopold II, successfully established trading stations up to the Upper Congo, where he started negotiating with local rulers on behalf of Leopold the second by 1884 a large number of, of treaties we are signed on behalf of Leopold the second with these treaties Leo Leopold the second was able to present most of the documents during the Berlin conference of 1884 to 1885 Armed with these treaties, other European nations recognized Leopold II as the sole owner of the territory. This was because of the treaties associated with Leopold II. This made Leopold II to be the only European to be granted private ownership of an African territory. He was believed to have promised other European nations to bring civilization to the people living in the area where he was giving recognition. We are talking about the Congo Free State area. Unfortunately, the promise or promises he made we are not to be because the facts on the ground showed that the Congo Free State under Leopold II ended up be becoming notorious for cruelty. These were issues or there were issues with forced labor that we are meted out on the inhabitants of the region. The people living in that area we are given quotas to meet up with 
in the area of rubber production, palm oil production, and some other farming activities that we are geared towards providing raw materials for the Europeans. People were punished with the use of beatings, lashings, and body disfiguring. King Leopold II made use of African soldiers led by European officers who were loyal to him. This military force committed a lot of crimes in the region. They were responsible for amputing people's hands and other parts of their bodies. Some people had their hands chopped off if they failed to meet their rubber quota, which were made, which were part of the laws that the agents of Leopold II made in the region. The first journalist to have made public the actions of the agents of Leopold II was George Washington Williams, who traveled to the region around 1890. When he returned from the region back to Europe, he wrote an open letter to Leopold about the sufferings of the native of the native inhabitants and also the brutal treatment of the people or the uh, from the agents he left in control of the area another journalist named joseph conrad brought out the same report after visiting the region this report further threatened the first report of George Washington Williams. In the same vein, another British journalist, Edmund Denner, carried out the same report. This report led to international outcry against the control of Leopold II. This international outcry resulted in radical changes. Based on this international outcry, the Belgian government took over the control of the region. They took the control from Leopold II and renamed the area Belgian Congo. From that period, Belgian, Belgian started ruling the area as a colonial possession until the Congo regained independence in 1960. The reality on the ground here was the possibility of Leopold II to convince other European nations towards keeping the territory under his total control. If you are watching us for the very first time, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification icon so that anytime we drop a new content, you will be one of the earliest people to be notified. Please, we plead with you to share our content so as to reach other people that may desire them. Thanks for being part of this channel.